up you guys welcome to my channel we're talking about the new instagram Wait, update Jade. what have you seen the new potential instagram app that everyone is talking about no way girl that, no, does that mean i have no more youtube videos to make because all i talk about is the instagram update you are boring Hey everybody, my name is Jade Dharma Wangza and today we're gonna talk about the new Instagram. Now, hold up, hold, hold up. You guys know on this channel, I'm obsessed with social media. I'm a millennial entrepreneur and I help you grow on social media. But this time, there are speculations that there are the new Instagram. Like, who is this new Instagram? Well, it's called Vero and AKA the meaning of Vero, I guess, is truth. Now, the difference between everything and I'll get into the pros and cons of this app and if you should get it, but this is the beef, okay? It is no algorithm the no ads platform, which is insane. I'm shaking and we're gonna dive right in. So what is Vero? Vero is an application that's just like Instagram where you can share photos. However, in my opinion, I think it's more like Facebook. You can share link. You can share links, blog posts, uh, to like kind of like text videos, everything in one. I think it's more like Facebook in the user interface. It is really pretty. It does feel like Instagram, but I think it's very similar to a lot of platforms just combined in one. That's what it is. And I don't know what to think about it since it's so new. There are lots of problems with development, you know, issues they are crashing. People aren't getting notifications. So we're going to see what that's about. If you're so far enjoying this video and if you like to join and subscribe to this channel, hit the red button below and give this video a like. I truly appreciate it and would really mean the world to me. The Dharma Nation gets the first in-depth touch on anything new in social media. And if you want to join, you know what to click. Click that bell. So besides that, we're gonna dive right in. I think I wanna read the iTunes reviews because it's kind of interesting. There's currently kind of like a low rating on the app store for it being the number one like trending social media right now, I guess. So let's read some iTunes reviews, shall we? We freaking shall. For it having two and a half stars and a thousand reviews, the first review I have is three stars and someone says, I noticed that the app is draining my battery really quickly. And even when I have the background refresh off, it just, it's kind of frustrating because I can't charge my phone. So. It has problems kind of draining battery by Love E4. I won't lie, this app was great, but um, it just needs a little improvement. The layout's kind of confusing at first. Everyone's saying five stars, gorgeous. <laughs> so this one says, not bad, but <laughs> there are so many reviews that are like giving a compliment, but then they have like the word but or like yikes at the very end. For example, has great potential, but someone says I'm actually sad. Uh, people are keep saying that they're super excited about the concept, but they're having problems with their server They're having problems with the app crashing people aren't getting notifications and they can't freaking upload Which kind of defeats the point of an app I did some in-depth research for this video and they've been in business for like three years fairly new I understand the problems they're having for the amount of traffic there is but nine out of the ten like Twitter Posts have been apologies on the app, so it is concerning. I do understand where people's coming from. Correct me if I'm wrong, but people like the concept. Like, it's just a social platform, less media, but they're having problems with developing. If you guys didn't know, this app is free. There's no algorithm and there's no ads. I'm, is anyone just sitting here like, how the frick are they gonna make money? Like, I'm just like, Bitch, what? Like, I'm like, what, girl? Tell me how they're gonna make money. And as you can see, they might need to hire some new programmers. I know that developing an app is super hard and I don't know how they're doing it at Vero. Vero, you're killing it, but you need to step up your game. People are really angry. I can literally show you. I can't even install the freaking app right now. It keeps like logging me out and um, it keeps saying like no connection to the server if you guys see that. Um, yeah, that's not cool, Vero. So other than that, we read the iTunes reviews. Let's understand who it's great for. For. I think it's great for photographers, if you're a model, if you're a videographer, a creator in any aspect, a writer, any a blogger, a YouTuber, let's just add er to everything else, like Snapchat or Instagram or like you can honestly go over to Vero and I would recommend doing it now or never because they're gonna charge annual fee and they said after a million users but i don't know what's happening right now like they're already having problems so i guess they're gonna make money annually we still don't know how much they're gonna charge um it, it reminds me of netflix right but if they're doing an annual fee that's small like i'm still think i'm my only thinking is it sounds great but how are they gonna make money they're already having problems with their server crashing they better hire some more people like please and if they don't have enough money to sustain they're just gonna be another medium if you guys don't know there are patterns in the industry 
industry of app development that I kind of noticed. For example, medium.com, if you guys ever heard of them, probably not because they're dying. It's like a blog writing app social network, but they're dying because they're not able to monetize as quickly, which kind of sounds like Vero because they are just doing annual fees similar to Medium who doesn't monetize at all. Does that just sound, I don't know, that's what I was thinking. But here's the pros guys. I think if you're a creator, you'll love it. The number one thing, like you're gonna love sharing your work with the algorithm. People will get direct to consumer relationship, no ads. I hear you can buy stuff on the platform, but it sounds like you can only buy stuff that you actually want instead of brands recommending it to you. Which leads me to my next point. This app sucks if you're a brand. Like I will pop an article from Forbes agreeing that this is kind of be terrible for brands or harder to grow. I'd say it kind of defeats the purpose for brands. You know, brands want to reach a certain direct target audience. But Vero, it kind of, you, you can't place an ad, but you could still make a profile, I guess, and see how that goes. I think they need to step up their game. I think they're having problems with the actual like, app itself. Concept's pretty good. Good job. Right now the server is currently down. They might fix it, they might not. We're gonna see how it plays out. My number one thing guys is if Vero sounds great. If you're asking me, hey Jay, what do you think about Vero? I think it sounds great. Go download it. It's better to download it now than never because they're gonna start charging you. The only thing is I don't know how long they're gonna sustain, which means are they gonna be Instagram with 800 million users? I don't know. And this might just be a fad, it might be a trend. It might go out just like how fidget, those freaking fidgets things go. But only time can tell. Rest in peace, medium.com. You were great for bloggers but we don't know how you're gonna make money. Vero, good luck to you. I hope I don't see you in the grave. I hope you stay in business. So yeah, guys, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below. If you downloaded Vero, what do you think? I want to know if you like it and if you use it because I have it. You guys can follow me on Vero at jdermawangza. And you can also follow me on the actual Instagram, the OG. We love Instagram. Don't forget about Instagram. So I've never ever really seen a social platform that has the potential to be as big as the major big boys like Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. Actually, Snapchat's kind of in a hole too with Medium. We're just going to put them all in the grave. I think it's super cool that I'm finally seeing a new platform. We're just going to see how they're gonna make money. I'm just curious how long they're gonna be in business and I wanna know what you guys think about it. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna do a part two of Vero. I'll do a, you know, using it in one whole day. I'll make some more updates on what I think and if they're actually gonna, you know, stay in business. If you liked it, make sure you hit the post notification bell. You know, when I post videos about Instagram Vero, anything that's new. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, so much. Have a great, amazing day. Crush it, dominate, and I hope you guys see you in the next one. Goodbye.